Genetics, in its essence, is basically the science of inheritance and following from this, every individual's genome, yours, mine, um, holds a complete wealth of information about our ancestry. To actually get to the real meat and bones of what is happening in prehistory, nothing can beat a direct look at the past itself. Ireland has the world maximum frequency for a number of important genetic variants and they include um, variants that code for genetic diseases like cystic fibrosis, hemochromatosis, which is a disease of iron retention, of iron overload. And we've been fortunate with our collaborators in Belfast to be able to extract DNA from several ancient Irish people, in this case people who lived in Rathlin Island and near Belfast, and to sequence their complete genomes. So we understand the genetic code from these, from two of these individuals completely. Now the oldest one is one of the first farmers in Ireland and she lived just over 5,000 years ago. When we look at her genome, she carries a very, very strong signature of a type of genetics that swept into mainland Europe um, along with the start of farming. The second set of genomes come from a different era in Irish prehistory called the Bronze Age. When we look at the Bronze Age genomes, we again get a very strong signal of people coming in. For the first time, a disease-causing variant in prehistory, and this variant um, tells us that one of these individuals was a carrier for hemochromatosis. There may be some flow through from the earlier groups, but there's a substantial new genetics coming in. Maybe he was a father, a brother, um, maybe had children. It's only natural to empathise and to sort of imagine and wonder, you know, what, li what life would have been like for this person 4,000 years ago. What we can tell from our results is that there is a population of evil involving people coming into the island and that at least is a candidate horizon for the entry of other cultural aspects, including language.